Hey y'all, do you see this beautiful cake? It is a peanut butter cake and I made it today. Just finished it and I want to invite you to stay with me and we'll make it together. I have been asked to participate in a bake sale here in town for a sweet little kind girl that we all know and love like family, Kirsten. And Sherry asked me to help and I said yes, of course. And every time I do this for someone in need, um, just to raise money to help with medical bills and such, or anything really, I think of my best friend, Wendy, that I had forever and a day till she left me and went on to heaven without me. Wendy's peanut butter cake is what we're gonna make today. Um, you can start with, I have French vanilla cake mix. You can use this as well to make her peanut butter cake. Or you can use a butter golden or a yellow cake mix. I've used all of that and they all taste very much the same. So today's is super moist French vanilla cake mix. And into that, we are going to put some oil. You can put canola oil or vegetable oil, or you could put butter, a half cup of butter. I'm gonna use some coconut oil and do a half cup. Like this. And then, here's where I go awry from Wendy's. <laughs> from Wendy's little recipe is I like to add an extra egg than what the cake mix calls for, okay? It just adds a little more volume and a little more moisture, actually. So instead of three eggs, I'm gonna add four. But you can stick to my girl Wendy's recipe and you can do three eggs. Especially these days, now that eggs are not quite so inexpensive anymore, right? That's two. I always crack mine on the side just in case a shell gets in there. Okay, y'all, and the cake mix says it wants one cup of water. And y'all know I do not add water ever. In, in lieu of that, I will add fruit juices that I want to flavor my cake with. I will add milks, even chocolate milks, butter milks. So don't use water unless that's all you have and then you use water. We did use water and it was very good. So you can stick to that, but y'all know how I do. Y'all know I cannot leave well enough alone, can I? No, I can't. I always wake up my little cake mixes with a teaspoon of vanilla too. So we're going to put that in there as well. Just like that. And mix. Oh, I almost forgot the most important ingredient, didn't I? A half cup of peanut butter. And I want to tell you some variations. You could use crunchy peanut butter, and we do wood occasionally. And so if you like that crunchy um, little peanut in your cake, put crunchy peanut butter. This is also going in our icing as well. So I'm just going to leave it right out for us. And now I'm going to mix. For about two minutes. There we go. All right, y'all. Now, I have got two 8-inch round cake pans, and I've got this wonderful spray that's already got flour in the spray, and it's a lovely little time saver. I'm trying to do this in the afternoon. I've been in the office all day, but I definitely wanted to be a part of this bake sale because it's for a dear little, uh, a dear young woman now she is. I've known her since she was a little girl, and so I want to be a part of this. And so I'm getting it in here this afternoon. That's why I'm doing Wendy's little quick cake. And But it's so delicious. You'll never know it's quick. And we're going to make it really pretty on the outside. And this is already got flour in there. So it is ready to roll for us in that spray. I wish you could smell this. This is the best flavor. And I say it every time. That vanilla cake, that vanilla with peanut butter has the best combination of a flavor. Oh my, it does. I'm telling y'all, it does. I have been preheating my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna slide these in there. I'm gonna get cleaned up a little bit. And we're gonna put the frosting together. And then we gotta come up with some pretty decorating. 
you do. Okay, y'all. I don't like to waste any of this. There we go. Please make this. <laughs> okay, about 20, 25 minutes till the toothpick comes out clean. And I'll see y'all then. Hey guys, you know we're always testing our cakes to see if a toothpick comes out clean, it's done. Did you know that if your cake is perfectly done, it will actually have a few crumbs on there like that. That means it's not too dry and it is Goldilocks perfect. Now we're gonna make the frosting. Now, most of the time, one recipe is one container of any kind of vanilla frosting you wanna use. Um, it's one pound or 16 ounces and half cup of peanut butter and one teaspoon of vanilla. But this time I want to try to make this cake look a little fancier, a little more showy because it's going into a bake sale. And so I'm going to use two containers of vanilla frosting and a cup of peanut butter and two teaspoons of vanilla. I think y'all get it by now. But anyway, that's why I just want to say that before I start getting all this out of here. But, um... I will put in the recipe, I'll just put that one, one recipe amount, okay? And then you can go from there. Y'all know me, nothing's ever enough. I've got to keep on and keep on. Last time I just put um, salted peanuts on top of this peanut cake. I made it for Veterans Sale, Veterans Day Sale. But this time, I think we're going to do even more. And there was something else I was wanting to tell you. You can make variations of this cake with the crunchy peanut butter. And also, I thought you could use a chocolate cake and put peanut butter in it as well. And it would be peanut butter chocolate. Would that be good? I think so, too. Very much so. So make a little variation there. I think that would be great. All right, let's get our cup of peanut butter out of here. There we go. Now. Now, then y'all get out of the way so y'all won't look messy, right? And two teaspoons of vanilla. And I'm going to mix this up real quick with my little electric mixer, but you don't have to. I don't always sometimes have that cleaned up and I don't have it out anymore when I'm making this. <laughs> so you can just stir it together. This smells just as good as the cake batter itself. And on the icing, you would also, with that chocolate cake and peanut butter, you would use chocolate icing and peanut butter, right? Or you could use one or the other. The vanilla cake and peanut butter with the chocolate. I'm like, right? I know. <laughs> Let's taste it. Try this little flavor combination. I promise you, you will love it. I promise. It makes a whole other flavor itself. It's not vanilla anymore. It's not peanut butter, but it literally, it, it literally marries and makes a whole other flavor. I'm going to cover this. And when those cakes are cool, we're going to make us a pretty cake. All right, y'all, we have gotten to the fun part. This part where we get it together and we have done and we can feel good, right? I love to do this. I've got me a cake round because y'all know I'm going to put it in a box to um, take to a bake sale. But this is a cake round. You can get them at Walmart or wherever. Order them. You can get white ones, too. I just happen to have this gold one. So what I do is take just a little dollop of icing and put it right there. And that is glue for your cake because I promise you, you want some glue there for your cake. Um, I've seen people not do that and it just goes slipping off of there. And you know, this is gonna be getting toted here and toted there. So we wanna make sure we have got, got it put into place, right? And now, I am just putting a little bit right here in the middle. I'm gonna have a bunch left over, but it's because I wanna decorate the top and I wanna do something fun and pretty with y'all. Something neat looking. Get that. I don't like to put a real thick dollop of icing between layers either because it's in transport. You can do this in a nine by 13 
and it would be wonderful. Nine by 13 would travel well and everything, right? But y'all know me. I wanted to, wanted to make it pretty, 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 right? Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna ice the sides and the top, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do this all together. Simple way to remember it, just add a half cup of peanut butter to everything. And it was delicious. Wherever she took it, everybody wanted it. They would get it before they finished their meal. You know, they go and get that piece of cake. <laughs> Wendy was that friend to me, guys. That friend that I feel very blessed to have ever known her. She was that friend. We call them ride or dies. She really was. And I feel blessed. I'm telling you, I feel very blessed. Lots of us never, ever, ever have a friend like Wendy. So we were friends for about 15 years. And I'm very thankful that I was even ever friends with Wendy. Very much so. Sure was. She was my friend that I could call and say, Wendy. Girl, I need to go into hell today. I don't want to stay, but I've got some business I need to tend to. And would you want to go with me? You know what she'd say? Let me get my boots on. <laughs> That's all she'd say. And here we go. These bags, and I found these at Walmart and had several in a package, and it's already got a star tip on the end, all one piece. And they're kind of disposable, but honestly, you can wash them time and time again in hot, soapy water and reuse them, yes you can. So I'm gonna load the rest of this in here so we can make us some star designs here and there. I have also got some Reese peanut butter cups. I have, I'm so glad I'm giving this cake to a bake sale because let me tell you, I know what it tastes like. It's very, very, very good and it would call out my name in the night, so it's got to get out of here. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, guys, maybe this will be enough. If not, like I say, I'll mix up more. And, of course, I'll let y'all know how much it takes. And then you just twist the end there so you won't... You won't be squeezing it back out of the wrong end, right? Okay. I think I'm going to see about doing big dollops here. Yes, I like that. Let me see. Let me see, guys. Open up some packages of Reese cups. I had bought several of these and John said last night, does all of them have to go into that recipe? <laughs> so y'all know what he did. He ate a package of them. Yes, he did. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do Slide that in there, like that, and slide one on this side, like this, and then I'll pipe and get me another. Yeah, I think I'm going to put one as I go so I won't be squishing down my little design. Y'all know what I mean? I need a whole bag of these already open. <laughs> right? Yes, yes I do. Okay. Here we go. Mm. I tell you, I think I'm gonna have to get me another thing of frosting set up. Yes I am. What do y'all think so far? Does that look good? I hope so. I hope y'all think it does. I've even got some Reese's Pieces I thought we could put in the middle. I know, that'd be too much. Y'all gotta tell me when to stop. Say, whoa, whoa, Nelly. So I'll keep on the going. I love it so far. I think this looks very, very good and delicious. Yes, I do. Okay, Lord, you're going to help me, aren't you? You're going to help me have just enough. He does that for me all the time, all the time. Those are little bitty miracles for me, and I love those. Those everyday little bitty miracles. Those are fantastic. 
aren't they? I agree. Yes, it's gonna be just enough. Too. I tell you what, we're not going to waste one drop of this peanut butter frosting. We might even get away with John Murray eating one of those packages. Another little miracle, huh? <laughs> that may have just been Amy saying I better buy extra because I knew John would want to be getting into it. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, all we've got is one more dollop, guys. How wonderful. That is perfection. Talk about Goldilocks perfection right there. What do y'all think? I'm gonna box this up. I'm gonna cover it overnight and I'm also gonna put it in the refrigerator. I love to make my cake the day before and then I put it in the refrigerator and it totally gets set and kind of becomes one, you know, so it will travel better and it will actually slice and cut better for me too. So I'll see y'all next time, but y'all go make this beautiful cake.